Hello. Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel again. It's been a hot minute and I'm incredibly, incredibly sorry, but it's now the summer. I have two exams left, two exams left of my entire school life. If you haven't been here before and you do not know who I am, I am Chloe and I run the page Chloe and Cosmetics on Instagram. And today is probably the most exciting day I have had of my Instagram life so far. <coughs> today I am going to Wembley Stadium in London with Elf Cosmetics to go and see the Spice Girls. I'm going to be in a private box living the VIP life with one of my favourite brands of all time. How incredibly insane is that? I can't even wrap my head around the idea. I'm very excited, I'm very nervous, I'm very jumpy, so I wanna get straight into this video because I'm just so excited! So originally, my plan was gonna to be to do a full face of e.l.f. cosmetics and like review new products that I hadn't used before, but me being me, I know that if I try new products on a day that I've got a big event and something goes wrong, I will have a meltdown. So I'm gonna stick to the products I know and get super, super glam and bring you all along with me. Let's go. I look like an absolute potato with my hair tied up, but I can't have my hair down for this video because it'll just get covered in powder and concealer and everything else. So I need to tie it up. I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping my skin. I'm going in with the e.l.f. Hello Hydration Face Cream with Hyaluronic Acid and Peptide Complex. This is just one of my favourite super hydrating moisturisers at the moment. And I always moisturise before priming my skin so that my skin doesn't get dry throughout the day with all the products on it. And don't be alarmed that my face has gone bright red because literally I touch my face and it flares up and goes all red and horrible. It's not the products, it's me. To prime today I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Spray because this will give me the glowy base that I'm at. <laughs> trying to say that spray will give me a nice glowy base for the foundation to go over so I'm looking radiant all day long. For my foundation I'm going in with the e.l.f. Flawless Foundation. This is a little bit too dark for my skin tone so I'm going to mix it with my favourite Maybelline Superstay foundation and that is in shade light beige. I think I'm actually more nervous for today than I have been for every single one of my A-level exams just because I get to meet some incredible people. So Makeup by Tammy is going to be there if any of you know her. Obviously e.l.f. Cosmetics are going to be there and then the PR brand that e.l.f. work through are going to be there as well. And obviously I've never been to something like this, never met other people that do makeup on the platforms. So I am bricking it. This foundation looks super pale and off colour for me at the moment but it's because my face is red from doing the rubbing in of the products beforehand and then my body is actually like yellow toned and my face is pink toned so I have to even it out and then I will actually go in with like bronzer and stuff to warm my face back up after. One of the things I'm most nervous about is not knowing the songs because everyone else that is going is older than me, was raised in the 90s and was obviously raised on the Spice Girls. I was not, I was born in 2000, but I'm hoping that they play all of the well-known ones so that I can actually join in with the singing. Oh my God, I am sweating so much because I'm so nervous. I'm gonna have to literally drown myself in deodorant. For concealer, I'm taking the e.l.f. Flawless Coverage Concealer and this is in the shade Fair Warm. And I'm gonna go heavy with this to cover the rest of the redness that is like peeping through through the foundation. And back to bouncing with the Beauty Blender. This concealer is so beautiful. My favourite is the Camo Concealer because that has the most coverage. But this one is more creamy and it allows you more time to blend it out. I'm having to use this one because I have run out of my Camo Concealer and I haven't been shopping yet to go and grab some more. I'm just looking at myself in the little screen behind the camera and I look terrifying. I'm sorry. So the plan is that we're going to set off at about 12 o'clock. It's around 10 o'clock now, I think. I don't have a clock with me. And then my mom is driving us down to London because there's no trains back after nine o'clock. Going to take us around three and a half hours to drive there. So I'm going to edit this YouTube video on the way. Because it finishes at about half 10, I'm hoping that I'll be able to just go to sleep in the car for three and a half hours, take my makeup off in the car, and then just get straight into bed when I get back in. I'm hoping that when I cool down my ear it'll go back to a normal colour. To set the concealer and foundation I'm going in with Miss Laura Mercier. And I like to take it on the pointy end of my sponge and then just dab it on in the areas that need it.
This is going to be my second ever time going to London, even though I live in England. The first time was around a month ago when I went down to London for the Scott Barnes Masterclass and London is so, so busy. The train station was packed. The roads had about 700 Ubers, but the shops were incredible. So I'm hoping that over the summer I can go back and just do loads and loads of shopping. Oh, my arm's killing. Then any of the loose powder, I'm just gonna brush around my face with my good old trusty Eco Tools foundation brush. Make sure everywhere is looking nice and cakey. I need this to stay on for like 12 hours so I'm literally going in ham with the powder and then I'm gonna set it a million times with a million different setting sprays in hope that my oil doesn't start to seep through because I have really, really oily skin at the moment and I don't know where it's come from but it's really bugging me. So I'll start to get like creases in my nose here and then in my smile line. So if anyone's got any tips for me with that, please, please let me know in the comments down below because I need help. I need to go in and add some colour back. So I'm going to go in with this big bronzer, which is almost the size of my head. This is from a Primark brand called Flormar and it is the lightest bronzer for pale people that I've ever come across. So if you're pale like me and you want to get your hands on a bronzer that doesn't make you look bright orange, if you're in Primark at any point, definitely check this out. It's super affordable. And I'm just taking that bronzer and adding it to all of the areas that need some colour putting back into them. Look at the difference in this bronzed and this just plain and flat, boring. To contour today I'm using this shade from the light palette of the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. I think this is the shade Fawn. And this again is really good for pale skin because it's got like an ashy cool tone. I'm just popping it right in the contours. My favourite blush at the moment is this one from a brand called Peach C, I think. It came in a little Yes Style box and I've absolutely fallen in love with it. It's such a gorgeous shade. And I just cheesy smile and pop that right on the apples of my cheeks. It's like a coral peach pink. It's just so beautiful. I'm just going to clean up that contour that I've just done by taking my beauty blender with the powder from earlier and then just swiping it along here like this. I don't know why I do this. I just see all the beauty gurus do it so I do it as well now. Oh my god, I'm covered in powder. Why do I always do this? I'm starting my brows now and I'm using the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil, which is a bit like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. It's one of those double-ended pencil things and this end is super thin so that you can get like hair-like structures and then this end is just a spoolie. And what I do is I just brush my brow hairs up. Fill in the front. I always do the strokes in the direction that the hair grows and you probably know this if you follow me on Instagram because it's all I ever talk about when I do a brow tutorial but it means that the pencil lines blend in a bit more with your actual natural brow. Actual natural brow! This is probably incredibly boring to watch so I will skip through this a little bit for you. And now that my brows are done I can go in and do some eye makeup. I want to do something really dark, smoky, golden, glittery, beautiful, everything. The outfit that I'm wearing is like a checkered cream pink and black. And then the accessories that go with it, the handbag is brown and then the accessories like the necklace and stuff is gold. So hopefully that'll tie it all in together. I'm using my favourite eyeshadow base, this is the P. Louise eyeshadow base in shade 1. And I use this to carve out my brows as well as being the base for the eyeshadow. This stuff is super pigmented and super creamy so all of the eyeshadows that you place on top of it just stick straight to it which means you get less fallout and more pigment of the eyeshadow. Just use a sponge to pat it in place and get it a bit smoother than it was just with the brush. For eyeshadow I'm going to use two palettes. I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Ring the Alarm palette and this one from e.l.f. This is the Opposites Attract palette and I'm doing that because this one is super warm and brilliant and the eyeshadows are absolutely amazing and this one has some darker shades that I can use to deepen the whole look and I really really love the shade spicy in this palette so I really want to wear that on my eyes. I've come in a bit closer so that you can see what I'm doing and I'm going to go in with shade Secret first. This is this one here on the right hand side at the bottom and I'm literally just plonking that all over the wet base. See how pigmented that is because the base is wet and sticky. I'll just slowly blend that out at the edges ready for the next shade to be blended over the top of those edges if that makes sense. 
Next up I'm taking this shade Rush which is a nice warm orange and then I'm just really really lightly starting to blend the two together. The best way I would say to blend out is to use really really light circle motions and then each time you go back over an area just branch out a little bit more. And that is her all blended out. Switching to the e.l.f. palette, I'm going to take this shade, which is spicy, which is this beautiful, beautiful copper gold. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just taking it with my finger over the front portion of the eye look. And you don't actually need to wet any brushes for these. You can literally just use your finger and they go straight on and just look beautiful. Before I go ahead and do the eyeshadow on the lower lash line, I'm going to go in on my waterline with this cream eyeliner from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade Jet. And I just pop it straight on the waterline. This is the best eyeliner I've ever found for my waterline because it's waterproof. So it literally does not budge all day. Then I will blend it down into the lashes a little bit. And to start to blend out that eyeliner, I'm going in with the shade that's Smooth from the e.l.f. palette on a little like dense eye brush and I literally just blend that in with the eyeliner that's already on the eye and now I can go back in with the colours from earlier and I'm taking the shade smooth again just to blend in the outer corner with the lower lash line if any of you guys have had any exams over the last few weeks please let me know down below what you've done whether they're GCSEs, A-levels, university because I have had seven a levels so far and I've hated how every single one of them has gone so I'd love to know if you guys have had a more positive or equally bad experience with your exams I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes look how bougie this lash curler is this is from Lily Lashes she sent me this not long back it is gorgeous And I'm going to take my new Ofra Volumizing Mascara. I got this the other day in PR and instantly fell in love with it as soon as I put it on my lashes. Honestly, look how much bigger that is making my lashes. Woo! And now I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera and I'll be back in just one second. And I'm back and I've put on some lashes. These are Lily Lashes in the style. Where's the box gone? In the style Doha, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll just put that there so that you guys can read it and tell me what it actually says. And I've actually blown myself away with this eye look. This is so dramatic. Wow. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe off that extra powder from down here. And now I can go in and do my favourite part, which is to highlight my whole entire face. I'm going to use my new baby, the Ofra On The Glow palette. Look at how gorgeous this is. Oh my god. I'm going to go in this one, which is Rodeo Drive. And I'm going to literally plonk it everywhere. Oh my god. Oh, it's so beautiful. Bam. I think it might be a little bit too dark for my skin tone, so I might go in with a lighter highlight. I'm just taking the e.l.f. Starlight Glow Highlight to put over the top of that to make sure that there isn't a uh, silver grey cast on my face when I'm not in the light. And I'm going to go in on my cupid's bow, and my chin, and my little nose. And I'm going to use my finger to do my inner corner highlights. And for the lip combo of the day, I'm going in with MAC Velvet Teddy and Colourpop So Juicy Plumping Gloss in the shade. It doesn't have a shade. Oh, in the shade All Talk. I'm so bad at applying lipstick. And that is me done. I'm just going to go in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And I'm going to cover my eyes so that I don't get it on the mascara. Ooh. I actually bought myself a handheld fan so that I can dry my face quicker when I'm in a rush. Now I can take my hair down. <gasps> and there we have it, my final look for the event tonight. Please let me know down below what you think. I think it is super over the top, but I just love it so, so much. It's so dramatic. I've got about half an hour until I leave, so I'm going to do my hair get dressed i'm going to show you my outfit if i get chance and i'm fingers crossed going to attempt to vlog the day but if this video ends here i'm super sorry i get so nervous just filming in front of 
just this which is no one let alone being in front of people trying to do it so this is what my outfit looks like for the day it's super cute i've got these tights which i've had for years and i've got no idea where they're from and then the little dress play suit thing and the top are from boohoo and i've got this little scrunchie thing. and then i'm just pairing it with this brown bag which is from primark and i literally need to leave now because my mom is in the car with the engine running so i've got to go so i'll see you in a bit grab myself a cheeseburger and a quick ice latte. So we just got into the private box and this is our view for the evening. Oh my god they're gonna be down there. How insane is this? Everyone over like here must be so sweaty they're gonna be camping for absolutely hours. This which is one of my favourite things in the world, which is the Aperture. And I've also got these sweeties. So these are sour sweets. And then in this pack right here, we've got personalised elf eminence. How cool are those? It's time for dessert. Now I've got my eye on one of those chocolate things right there. Good day, I went for both. So excited to do and you have not already please give this video a quick like just down here and please subscribe to my channel like i said i'm going to try my absolute hardest to film more videos over the summer and get more into youtube thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for all of the support that you guys always show me it's down to you guys that i actually get invited to stuff like this it's literally you following me that gets me this attention that gets me these things i'm so honestly grateful and of course a massive thank you to elf for inviting me to come and see the spice girls with them honestly as soon as i saw the invite my mind just went <laughs> thank you so much for watching thank you for absolutely everything and i will see you on the next one